Hey everyone, Mark here back at you with another video and chances are if you're watching this one it's because your Facebook ad account's been disabled or your business manager account. And man, am I sorry to hear that because this sucks. In fact, halfway through my workday yesterday, I noticed my client ads weren't running. I logged into business manager and my business manager had been disabled. Now, this did happen to me once before about eight months ago. I was able to get it resolved pretty fast. So I'm gonna show you step by step what I'm gonna do to get it resolved this time. And hopefully this will work for you as well. So let's jump into the screen share and I'll show you a step by step guide on how to get your Facebook business manager or ad accounts re-enabled. All right, so I'm here in my business manager dashboard and as you can see, it says business account restricted. So that means I can't use my business manager to run ads for myself, run ads for my clients, or manage any pages. So the first thing you'll likely do is you'll click see details and this will bring you to your account quality page. From here you'll see that my account has been restricted. And it says it's because I didn't comply with advertising policies, which is honestly a load of crap because I comply with every policy Facebook has even though they're constantly changing them and all of my ads have been approved and been running successfully for a number of days to months and even some for over a year. So again, it's likely a mistake that Facebook made. I have confidence they will restore it. I don't know how long that will take, especially during this pandemic uh, that we're in right now with COVID-19. However, this did happen to me about eight months ago and I was able to get it restored. So fingers crossed, I'll be lucky again. So what you need to do in order to get this resolved, if it does happen to you, is you need to request a review. Now, some videos and some people out there might tell you to go to Facebook business support page and open a chat with support if you even have that option. Only about 50% of people even have the option, which I do, and I did it yesterday when I first found this issue, and it's a complete waste of time. At the end of this video, I will go over the whole chat that I had with the Facebook representative, and I'll put a timestamp down in the description for that so you can see what goes into that and why it's not worth your time, because all they're gonna do is tell you to request a review, which you can do right here. So what you need to do is click request review. Now, you're going to have to click which business manager account and select that you are an admin, that you are an admin and then select whatever reason that you're requesting review for. Now, here's the, another issue. You need to do this new account business verification thing that Facebook has in order to even request the review. So what the support agent told me was, well, first you need to go and you need to request this verification, which what that entails is you have to upload certain documents to show that you are a legitimate business. I had to upload my official business name, my business license, and then a proof of address like a bank statement or again my business license would work for that as well. So that is now in the verification process and they say that that can take anywhere from 48 hours to 45 days. Now once I get verified, then I can finally request a review which again can take anywhere from 48 hours to 45 days. So worst case scenario, to get both of these things resolved, I could be looking at several months, best case scenario, a few days, who knows. So that's what you're gonna to need to do in order to request a review. Now, when you do get to the point where you're requesting a review, I would go ahead and do another reason and then type something custom. What I did last time, which worked, and I did this based off a lot of research, is I said something to the effect of, hi there, I believe this is a mistake. I comply with all of Facebook's rules and policies. If I did unknowingly violate something, please let me know so it cannot happen again. I appreciate your help, thank you, and then I sign my name, Mark. Be respectful, acknowledge that you do follow the policies, but also acknowledge that you might have unknowingly done something wrong. I found after doing a lot of research that this works for people. It worked for me last time. And at the same time that I had the issue back in October, a colleague of mine had it and he took a more uh, direct approach with how he responded to them and it did not work out for him. So that would be my recommendation. So one other quick thing I would recommend is have a backup uh, business manager on another page. So I have a backup business manager on my wife's Facebook account. And by doing so, when these clients' ads, ad accounts get disabled because they're linked to my business manager, I actually have separate ad accounts for them 
on my backup business manager, I can go there and recreate the ads, and that way their ads are still able to run. Now, it does require a lot more work because I had to go and recreate ads for 20-something ad accounts, um, but it's better than nothing, right? And it keeps your clients happy. So whether this is for your clients' ads or your own business, if you do have a significant other, a spouse, a parent, a best friend, someone you trust who has an established Facebook page that has been around for a number of years that Facebook knows is legitimate, go ahead and set up a business manager on their account, set up some ad accounts, get your clients on there, and that way if this happens, which chances are if you're doing a lot of advertising, it will eventually, Facebook has this issue quite often and it's infuriating because they're not very helpful and it's not a very streamlined or quick resolution. But at least if you have a backup, you're safe and you can keep things running almost like a backup generator if the power goes out until it gets restored. So now we'll jump into the chat that I had with the support agent. I'm going to show you what he told me and why it's really not worth your time. All right, so this is the chat that I had with Xavier from Facebook support. Shout out to Xavier. He was super helpful and very understanding of the situation. That being said, he was super limited in what he can actually do on his end, and I get that. Nothing he can do about it. So basically what he did was he started out by introducing himself, confirming which ad account, which business manager account, and then he said he would look into it. He looks into it, and he basically says that there's nothing he can do. He says he, was, he wishes he's able to do more, and then he just says that you can submit an appeal right here. And he says once, you know, appealed, you would receive a correspondence within your support inbox. If you don't know where your support inbox is, just Google Facebook support inbox and click on it, and you'll see you have a separate inbox just for support tabs. So then I just kind of confirm with him that I need to verif do this verification thing. He says, yes, do that. I ask him about, you know, does he have a specific timeline? He says no, and then he just kind of concludes with saying that, hey, you can go to this link and leave some feedback with how we can, you know, streamline the process better, which I did. I've done it before. I don't really think it makes a difference, to be honest with you. I don't know how much they're really listening to us. But as you can see, it's just a waste of time to do the whole chat thing because they're just going to tell you that they can't do anything about it, and they're going to tell you to submit an appeal. As always, guys, I hope you find this helpful. If you did, do consider leaving a like or subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. And f please feel free to reach out to me directly if you have any questions or need any assistance. My email is down in the description below. Again, I'm sorry if you're dealing with this Facebook stuff. I know personally how infuriating it is. But don't stress. Don't be anxious about it. You'll get through it. And again, let me know if you need any help. Thank you all for watching, I appreciate it, and best of luck.